South Boston and we are jumping into the late model stock for the first time in a long time I think it's been about three months since uh, I last ran this car and we're jumping in at very tough short track but should be a lot of fun as well uh, I think it's 60 laps and uh, I'm ha having a bit of a problem with it getting loose out of turn four okay through one and two but I'm getting really loose in turn four we'll see if I'm any uh, got any speed in this and with this thing with how much grip it's got you just got to throw it in and hope it sticks 753 I can be happy with that doesn't look like it's gonna be front row or anything here though and I'm going to lose some time there, and it's going to get loose, and that's it. We are the number two, which is fine. We got Chad in here with us, so that's awesome. Hopefully, he qualifies good and gets a good run. Can't move the standings for some reason with the arrow keys. It's not working. Maybe there's only seven people that's put in a lap. Either way, we're sitting fifth at the moment sixth now I wouldn't I really don't want to start on the outside but this being a 60 lap race probably will have time to find a gap and be able to settle in yeah we're dropping yeah I asked Chad I haven't been in this car for so long I asked Chad if tire wear was something we really needed to keep an eye on and I remember it being important when we did the long races but I don't remember it being I don't don't remember how it was for these little 60 lap races, but I think I did like a 15 lap run in practice and I had like a 92 on the right front, 93 on the right rear, which I thought was pretty significant. And he's saying just make sure it's balanced decently. You see the fixed setup though, we got everybody really close to each other within a tenth. Like I'm I'm a tenth back of the pole and only, you know, barely anything to uh, the top five there now. But we'll see what we can do. Just try and settle in, avoid the mess if there is any. And uh, hopefully have a good fun race. Hopefully we can finish top half the field. But if we have a clean and fun race, I don't care where we finish. Got the old paint scheme I ran when we ran the season with this. Talking to Chad about tires still, I was really burning off those right sides in practice, like I said. So we'll see how this happens in the race when we get to the long, long run. Got really overcast skies. Seems like everything's been overcast or foggy since they've released the weather update. Only a 70 degree track temp. That is very cool. Very cool track temp. We are starting 8th, it looks like. Chad puts in an 801, and then his second lap comes in and he puts in a 749, ties the 10 car by a tiny bit, but that bumps us back to 10th. We're starting really far back. And since these things have so much grip and the corner speeds are not that much different than straightaway speeds, it's going to be tough to pass. So starting this far back is not something good to do. And we're definitely don't want to be on the outside this far back, but it looks like we're going to get both. But that's just what happens. Haven't been in the car for a while. And I'm not good at qualifying anyway. Looks like the three cars not going to put in a lap. So that is that. We're running 12-1. to I'm not moving the brakes. Probably could be better if we did, but uh, I think we've got the full range of motion to adjust it in the car if we need to. Big post. All right, man. Line up on the outside row now. We're putting plenty of fuel to finish the race. And let's make sure this is all off and get our fast repair ready. Just in case. 3,261. 
We expect to be fighting for the podium. I don't think we'll be fighting for the podium. I think we're too far back. <laughs> Absolutely not. There was quite a few people that signed up. We had, uh... It was like 90 or something. Which I thought was Riley. quite a bit Steve. for, uh... The fixed series on a random Saturday night. Like, late in the week. I didn't think this series was still getting the numbers that it did when it first started, but it looks like it's still doing really well, which is good to see. This is a fun car, it's just, uh... Still think it's got a little bit too much grip compared to what they've got in real life. Oh, shit. But we've got Chad starting right in front of us, so that's cool. Hopefully we get a decent start, and hopefully we both can move up a little bit. Try and follow him through the field. Everybody warming their tires up. Maybe put a little heat into the, right, the brakes. Big Pooch, you got that big motor in there. We ain't even picking the green flag yet, and you're giving me a 4X. What's the point, dude? What is the point? Apparently people are running into each other already. I didn't see anything, but we're taking the green. All right. Got one inside. Thought I could maybe get in line behind the 20 on the inside. Oh, not the 20, the 10. Now we are able to. Got somebody sliding up there. All right. Guy behind me is entering the corner a lot harder than I am. As long as we're just staying in behind the 10, we should be all right. Try not to get too loose there. It's getting tight. That time. Chad's stuck up on the outside. I can't get this thing to turn. No contact. Somebody... I thought somebody had stopped in front of Chad, but... He might have just got the wall. I did not want to take it three wide there. Chad stuck on the outside. We're going to try and get around him, unfortunately for him. All right. We make one spot up. Try and keep it smooth here. Ten car looking to make a pass on the 14. We'll try and follow him through there. Big Pookie, we just ride. Got one outside. Simpson, what the heck is riding? Four, four, We're making contact side to side. Try and keep it together behind the 10 here. Oh, 14 just caught the wall. Came down and just hooked the 10 straight into the wall. That's unfortunate. We get lucky and miss that. 14 just bounced it off the wall on the 10's outside and then hooked him. We got lucky that we weren't in that, involved in that. What big safety side route? We'll see if we can pull away here from the 14 now. I'm getting really tight to start with. This is tighter than I felt in practice. I think I need to be careful or I'm going to be hurting later in this race. I can try and maybe get on that apron a little bit on entry, get it to turn some. Don't hit the wall. Okay, they're racing side by side behind us again, so that's going to give us a little bit of a gap. 15 makes that pass easily though, and he was looking pretty fast behind us, so he might get up here and catch us. All right. If we're getting a little loose out of four, like we had been, I think that'll take some pressure off the right front. Because we're burning up the right front in one and two, I think. We are really tight through there. I think I do want to move the brakes back. It's feeling really tight on entry. 
if I get an opportunity to do that here in a second. Not the spring offset. We don't have that adjustment with the fixed series. Brake bias. Might move that to like 50. And we can move that back later in this race if we need to. If it starts getting a little too loose. Kind of fighting it right now, though. That was a bad corner. We're all right. They're all nose to tail up ahead of us. That time it rotated. Some contact. Guy got sideways for a second. We're going to jump that hit bad. All good, man. We're at a safe distance if anything happens up there, but we do need to be aware and make sure we're paying attention because they are liable to make more contact like that. That is going to slow them down a little bit and get us slightly bit closer. We're still going to be making some contact. Twenty laps into this race, it's moving right along here. We've survived so far, running seventh. Hopefully, we continue to survive and can keep these tires from falling too far bad on speed. That uh, six car up there is getting that outside to work all right. I think he was outside of the five couple laps ago and he's moved up to the outside of the 11. They're racing really hard though, making some door contact. But they're keeping it straight. I'm trying to catch up, just can't quite get there. 11. Really shoving the 6 car up the track that time. the wall. Why didn't this thing go far? She can't be doing that. Ooh, six car got the wall there. Five car makes a pass. Six car going to try to cross him over. A little contact there. It's just going to keep slowing them both down to give us an opportunity to catch back up. We'll catch up for the first time. Five car into the wall hard there and turned the six. I don't know if you want to do that six. I got tied off the bottom, sorry. Yeah, it looked like the six kind of shoved up into him. Maybe we'll have an opportunity to set something up. Five doesn't look like he's hurt too bad. It looked like he hit it pretty hard. But it looks like he's got good speed still. Still got better speed through the center of the corner than I do. Got a lap car up ahead holding low, it looks like. That's the 10 car. And he gets up in front of the 6. We're going to get the wall a little bit. Now he goes high. And he crosses back down. Not sure what he's doing. Go on. Just past halfway. We're looking fine. I'd like to get a top five, but honestly, I don't know if we can make that many passes. I don't know if we'll make even one more pass. Gotta be careful here. He backs off for us. Thank you. 
it's so hard to get a good enough run to do anything. Everyone's just, the corner speeds are just so close to the straightaway speeds, there's not a lot of braking and opportunity to get better momentum. Especially on the fixed set. A little bit loose there. Just can't quite get a good enough run on this five car. We're just stuck half a car length behind him. I feel like I'm getting into a good rhythm though. Six cars kind of driving away. Almost close enough to do something. It's not quite. I need him to get the wall or get loose or something. He's doing a good job though. We have 20, left to, go 20 to go. Ooh, I got real tight there. Ah, thought I would have the run that time, but not quite. Filling up his rearview mirror, but that's about it. We're all doing the exact same lap times. Pretty much. Yeah, tried to cut down there, just got loose crossing that apron. Dang it, that would have been a good run had I not gotten loose again. Some wall contact happening up there. Get the nose under him on the apron. But he certainly doesn't have to leave room when I do that. If I could quit getting loose center three and four, I might have a chance to cross him under before getting to turn one. I just keep bobbling. Who's inside here? Outside. We just got the nose in. He might have got loose or maybe tried to back off there. All clear, all clear. Car stops down low. It seemed very nice of him though. He gets in behind us. Maybe he just saw that we were behind him for a long time trying to make a pass. Much appreciated though. That was a good battle. We get the pass made. Now we see. Almost three wide up ahead of us. We have ten to go this half hour. Ten laps to go. We're in sixth. Now that I don't have a car in front of me, I'm a little bit out of rhythm. We're making a little contact there. Six is a little sideways. He's pushing up a little bit, nearly into the wall. Ben, can you move, please? I don't think we're going to be able to get there unless they start having some major contact. 11 dives it in on the 4. 
Four car grabs the wall. We could get there if they start slamming into each other. Oh, Chad's on pit road. That's unfortunate. Something must have happened to him back there. I saw he was behind us on the F3 for a little while. He made the high highlight reel, he says. Got the 13 here who's a lap down. That's getting us right into this battle here. But I don't know if we're going to have a chance to do anything. Oh, almost got to the inside of the six there. Eleven car still doing the really wide entry with somebody on his outside to try and shove him out of the way. Two to go here. Coming to the white flag. Try and set something up. Oh, don't wreck anybody. Awesome. Damage on the front end. We've got damage on the I can't even get it pointed the right direction. Are we going to get to finish this race? There's another 2x for us. <laughs> what an absolutely stupid way to end that one. There's the flag. It's over. I don't know what they did in front of us, but we couldn't miss it. So... We'll just get 10th instead. Alright, man. That's it. The race is over. <sighs> that sucked. Six car and then four just slam each other out of the corner, and then I try to miss it. I hit the brakes, and it just destroys the car instantly. I don't know what the heck. Like literally nowhere I can go. They just start slamming each other and then I'm just destroyed. Destroys the five car as well and instead of potentially a top five, we end up 10th. And we get six incidents out of it because I backed into the wall. Ah, <sighs> very, very cool. Very cool. Take a look at the rest of the incidents. Eleven car and the six car coming together before the entry. Chad here. Oh, he 14 came up a little bit, and that's when we saw him get the wall. Chad kind of went a little to the right to avoid the 14. And then the 13, just getting the wall back here. This is when the 14 bounces it off the wall, and then the 10. Oh, that wasn't even when they wrecked. This is when they wrecked. 14 again bounces it off the wall, grabs the 10. We get lucky there, and I guess that used up all our luck for the race, dodging that one. Then 14 comes down into the 15. 10 car gets taken out. We already saw that. 14 going to grab the wall. 15 turning underneath the 14. 14 bounces off the wall again on the outside of the, of the car. 10 car back out here. He's getting the wall. Fourteen doing the same thing. He's done that about four times now.
Poor car gets into the back of the eight. They keep it going straight, though. Six car gets loose. Oh, and sends him way up the track. Just a little tap of the wall there. That could have been much worse. That gets the 11 and the 5 to his inside. There's the 11 shoving him up the track. And this is the 6 shoving the 5 car up the track, and that gets us to the 5's bumper. 14 grabbing the wall again, 13 right behind him. They're both going to grab the wall again, just a little bit from the 13. 15. 14 has burned up his right front, not turning at all there. Nothing there, really. Here's Chad, just getting wrecked by the 13. Wow. Chad, like almost below the yellow line, the 13 just keeps coming down and just hooks him right head on the wall and then just keeps going through him. I don't know what the 13's doing there, but that takes Chad out, unfortunately. Not a good day for either of, either of us, me and Chad. I had half a lap to go before I could get a top six, almost a top five, but doesn't end up happening. 13 grabs the wall. This is when he was a lap down. And they just bounce off the wall a little bit. They're giving each other plenty of, plenty of room there. Six car and the four car. Six cars coming up a little bit, four cars turning down a little bit. A little tiny contact, but nothing major there. I bumped the six a tiny bit. Four car holding pretty low there. I mean, four cars below this dash line here, and he's holding that throughout the entire corner, so I think the six just didn't expect him to be that low on exit. The six was pushing up pretty bad as well. Six get, pushes up into him, gets loose, corrects it and then just is pointed straight at him and then they collide into the wall and then I slam on the brakes to avoid it but for some reason it just shoves my car straight right and destroys it. But you see I hit the brakes there trying to miss him but the inside wall immediately being there with this tiny track means I have nowhere to go and neither does the 5 who is a long ways back from that. 5 goes on to finish 5th Right where we would have finished had we been able to pass the four on the final lap. We were set up to do it. We had run a good race to get up to that point, and I just... <sighs> Don't get the finish I deserve in this one, but... Oh well. We could have finished sixth, at least. I mean, I didn't think to go to his outside. Like, I'm entering the corner here, and they're, sh they're pushing up, and I can't even see him really right here, and then all of a sudden he's spinning. I hit the brakes to avoid him, but just nowhere to go. Unfortunate. And then this is after the checkered. Eight car trying to wreck the 11 after the race. That stinks. Really didn't need to give myself another 2x there at the end, but whatever. We could have, uh, I mean, I couldn't get turned around. I would have either done that or had to reset. Like, the car was just completely destroyed. Oh, that stinks. Really wanted a good finish there. I felt like I was doing good, but oh well. It happens.